being hailed as a victory for medical marijuana users. Well, I'm very happy to get my property back. It should have never been taken in the first place. Chris Miller says he intends to sue Placer County Sheriff deputies for seizing his marijuana last year. He says he uses it for medical reasons. They came in in full SWAT gear and pounded on the door, came in brandishing weapons and uh, basically interrogated me and my wife for four hours. Today, deputies return dozens of plants and other paraphernalia to him. Medical marijuana users say it's a major victory for them. Their policy is to arrest all patients, kill all marijuana gardens, and let the court sort out who's who. And that's wrong. Almost exactly three years ago, voters in California approved Proposition 215. That gave people the right to use marijuana for medical purposes. But since then, many users say they've been constantly targeted by law enforcement. Oh, in the Miller case, all charges were dropped against him. But most of his plants were returned dead. This has ruined marijuana. It's, it's worthless. I smoke quite a bit. I've, I've got chronic chronic pain syndrome and I've got muscle spasticity and I've got arthritis and I've been disabled for over 10 years now. Are you mad your plants have been destroyed? Sure, sure I'm mad. I'm mad at this whole ordeal. It should have never happened. Still, the return of the marijuana is giving new hope to the dozens of other users currently awaiting trial. Good day. In Auburn, Charlotte Fidipe, KOVR 13 News. Well, the Sheriff's Department would not talk to us about this case today or whether this is making them review the way they handle medical marijuana cases in the future. Bad weather is forcing Curry today. Oh, congratulations! <laughs> it is a long-awaited day, a vindication for Chris Miller and every other Californian who grows marijuana for medical use. Well, I'm very happy to get my property back. It should have never been taken in the first place. Today, the Placer County Sheriff's Department returned to Miller thousands of dollars of marijuana growing equipment and several bags of pot that officers seized last spring. They took the goods and arrested Miller, despite the fact he had a doctor's okay to grow the pot for medical use. Last week, a judge agreed that Miller is protected by Proposition 215. He ordered the charges dropped and the property returned. It's been very traumatic for me and my family. I have a 10-year-old daughter. That had to go through this and she's still having problems from it supporters of medical marijuana and prop 215 consider this return a major victory a victory they expect will be repeated in coming months there's going to be a lot of this um, because they have a lot of cases that are no good they have a lot of cases that are patients that are legally able to grow marijuana that shouldn't have been arrested in the first place and definitely shouldn't have had a SWAT team sent to their house. We come here at 10.30. Sacramento resident Ryan Landers grows marijuana to treat his illness. So does 37-year-old Robert Ames. A year ago, Ames was arrested with 32 plants. He believes that Prop 215